going on, everyone? I'm John. This is my channel. Welcome back. I just want to say, uh, you know, it's it's been fun. It's been a little, I've been a, getting a little less done than I'd like to, but today we are here to talk about Darius Gaiden on the Saturn, and we have to ask ourselves: Is this side story worth checking out? Because let's not forget, this game was released in a time when 2D. No, naughty, naughty, shame, shame. So. Did it hold up then? Is it a competent shooter? And is it worth your time? Considering this game is also slowly, appro uh, you know, um, uh, approaching triple digits, I got a pretty good deal on this. So thank you, wh who I bought it from. You know who you are. Thank you, brother. Um, is it worth getting and is it worth checking out? Let's answer that question and let's start. I'm going to dive right in with the graphics. Enjoy the review, guys. Okay, visually, as I stated, the mid-90s, your game being 2D, it was considered inferior, a curse, you were garbage, trash. Nobody wanted nothing to do with you. But there were those gamers, like myself, who realized that 2D is just an art style and it will probably age better than 3D. I was actually very shocked when I picked this game up recently and I came to realize this game had some really cool, really cool 2D graphics. Very colorful, vibrant, vibrant world. Beautiful destruction. The enemies themselves, the colors, it all popped every area, all the different places you went, be it underwater, outer space, through a wasteland, a fallen city. Everything had a very cohesive visual splendor. The visual, uh, the effects that you're going to see in this game, for example, like you're looking at right now, incredible. Your bomb that you'll use, uh, you know, your screen clearing attack, the black hole bomb, produces one of the coolest effects for a bomb in any shoot 'em up I've ever seen. I would say this game's main visual highlight, aside from all the cool parallax scrolling, the transitions, the transparencies are the bosses. The bosses in Darius Gaiden, with the exception of that first giant battleship that uh, definitely gives off the 3D vibe, all of them are huge, semi-screen filling, beautifully animated, 2D, all fish themed, kick ass, and a couple of cheap boss battles. In fact, I would dare, dare I go so far as to say the boss battles are Probably some of the most I've looked forward to. This game gives a, okay, what kind of boss am I going to fight next? And what is his na clever name going to be? If you check out some of the names of these bosses, they are very clever. Otherwise, this game is just another awesome Sega Saturn 2D shooter that literally has aged very gracefully. With the exception of the uh, odd effect here and there. Overall, I'd say these graphics look just as good now as they do then. And unlike mid-90s 3D, these will stand the test of time for, well, for a very long time because 2D is timeless. Now, let's move over to the sound. Okay, the sound of Darius Gaiden... <laughs> It's a, it's a bit of a stretch, but the soundtrack, it's epic in its own way. I don't know how you followers, fans, and shoot 'em up lovers feel about having opera in the background with your soundtrack. It, to me, it's a love it or hate it, and it may seem like not appropriate for this type of game at first, but I get it. If you follow from the intro of the game, humanity is damn near demolished. This this assault, this sneak attack that the enemies took on humanity, nearly wiping out all their silver hawks, it, it's it's like a do or die. This is it. Humanity's last chance. This is this is it. There's no failure. Failure can't be an option. So I think having like dramatic opera in the, the soundtrack and playing in the background of certain stages, 
I get where they're going for the scale of grandeur and trying to make it an epic of its own. I get it. I don't think a lot of gamers are going to understand that, though. The music, it, it's not bad. It's just, it's either going to be an acquired taste or you're going to absolutely fucking despise it. I hang somewhere in the middle. While there are really good soundtracks and uh, good tracks in Darius Gaiden, overall, I think the opera bits, it could have been left out and the point could have been gotten across in just as strong of a manner. The sound effects, that's another story. The weapons all sound really good. The, uh, the ambient noises you'll hear, the transitioning from stage to stage, all the effects, everything, every weapon, every attack, every explosion sounds as it should. I don't think there's really anything wrong with the sound design in the game, although the direction they went with the opera, that could be a hate it or a love it or completely forget about it. The sound? It's just, I can't say anything bad about it except the opera music. Take it or leave it. Moving on, the gameplay. The gameplay in Darius Garden is very simple and straightforward. It's a two button shooter bomb and shoot. I'll start with the shooting mechanics, where much like Metal Black, you can fire your main attack as fast as you can tap both buttons. That is one of my favorite and least favorite parts of most shoot 'em ups because it does tire your fingers out, but it lets you do more damage than you normally would if you just hold the shooting button. The main highlight regarding the gameplay is the multiple pathways you can take. There's 28 stages. At the end of each one, you get to choose a path. Do you go route a or route B or in this case it uses each letter of the alphabet ultimately when you get to the end you will be getting one of I believe six endings based on the path you took certain pathways are not necessarily harder than the other but it's more of a different route of scenery and different enemies also Darius Gaiden is one of the few shoot 'em ups that allows you to get an external shield, which will allow you to take an extra two, three, maybe a fourth hit. Your weapons, the satellite missiles, all get upgraded. Your initial, from what looks like, I'd say a plasma shot, upgrades into a laser of two, three, and four, and beyond. It's, it's difficult to say whether Certain weapons are more effective on certain enemies than others, but the lasers, clearly, the advantage to them is that they can go through the enemies. It doesn't stop when it hits the enemy in front and then hits the enemy in back. It goes straight through and hits everything. The bomb, the black matter, black hole bomb, the more stuff going on on screen, the more damaging it is to um, certain enemies and bosses. So if there's a ton of little enemies and a ton of uh, shots on screen, the more of that that gets sucked up, the more damage that gets done to the boss that you're fighting. Which I think is a neat little touch and did take some experimentation to figure out if I was right or not. And lastly, two-player mode. Darius Gaiden features a cooperative two-player mode, which second person could just jump in or not. And what I think is pretty cool about this is if you run out of credits, you can always just switch your controller over to port 2, hit start, and jump in without your score continuity. Or, well, in this case, you're playing as player 2 legitimately. Then you can use those last three or four credits to uh, hopefully see an ending. Darius Gaiden is a... It could be a pretty tricky game here and there, but I think it's very well balanced and definitely worth your attention, and it's just a lot of fun. So, is this little uh, side story, Darius Gaiden, is it worth your time? I say yes it is, especially if you're a shoot 'em up fan, and especially if you're a fan of Sega Saturn itself, because this is only on Sega Saturn. I'm not going to profess to be 
a Darius expert. I couldn't tell you the whole universe, the lore, or even why this is considered a side story. I really couldn't. But, at the end of the day, if you want some good old-fashioned shoot 'em up fun, can't go wrong with Darius Gaiden. I want to let you all know that, that my next review, uh, I'm going to crank out within the next day or so. I'm going to be doing a lot back to back to back. All Halloween games. All horror-themed Halloween-appropriate games. Hope you all enjoyed my review. And I'll see you guys later on my next one. And uh, I'll tell you the first one. I'll tell you what we're going to be doing. Evil Dead. Hail to the King. All right. See you guys on the next review. And have a good day, everybody.